2014, the biggest change, and one thing I always talk about it, is that we actually got to know each other. So we got to know each other's why. And when I say why, it's almost a bit, what was our purpose of being there? We had some sort of connectivity. So people used to always ask me before 2014, you know, what do you want to do? What, what do you want to achieve from being a part of the England team? And I used to always say, I want to win the World Cup. It's like when you talk to a lot of young people, they say they want to go to the Olympics and get a gold medal. What is your why? Like, what is it that gets you up every morning? And it doesn't have to be an athlete. It's like you guys now. What is it that gets you up every morning? What's the purpose that drives you every day? And then someone asked me that. Um, because we've got a psychologist, she, she came in and she got us all to sort of answer that question in front of the camera. And then we all came back and we watched what everyone's response was. So I said, you know, for me, when I really thought about it, is that I grew up in a council state, single parent family, really challenging environment. And I want to make my mum proud. That's what it was in the end. When someone actually asked me that question, I realised what it was. And then there's some other people in this team who've had some really difficult backgrounds. Uh, one girl lives, was from New Zealand, she left her family. Uh, it's been 10 years now, and she, that's why she's kind of over here to make sure she can make them proud. When I, I realised what each and every member in that team's situation was, so one girl, you can't see properly, she's got alopecia. She has a nightmare every day, and it really stresses her out, but she wants to win a World Cup. So when I realised what everyone's reason to be there was, all of a sudden we had connectivity, you know, emotional connectivity. That's why we won that World Cup.